Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to play with those guys, so it um, doesn't take much chemistry, but, you know, a lot of ice, they're obviously great skaters, and uh, they gave me some good looks, I just couldn't put anything in, so uh, that's on me. It was obviously a short uh, stay here for you, but yeah. what are your overall thoughts uh, this weekend? I thought it was you know, a great event. I think uh, players really enjoyed it. Um, I think the skills competition was awesome. I think everyone enjoyed that. Uh, obviously, we have this much talent on the ice, and, you know, together. Uh, it's fun to watch, fun to be a part of, and I think the fans uh, were really excited and have, uh, you know, showed that by the turnout. So, you know, I think the city did a great job of hosting everything here, and it was a lot of fun to, to be here and experience it as a player. What was it like meeting Justin Bieber? So you took a yeah, I had met him before, um, years ago, but good to see him out there on the ice with his gear on, taking, uh, taking warm-up, and... Uh, being part of it, so um, yeah, that was that was cool. So During the skills challenge, you were bouncing around talking to all sorts of different guys. You know, what did you kind of take away from that? How enjoyable was that for you? Yeah, I think that's it's part of the fun. You know, I said before, it's seeing familiar faces and meet new guys, and um, it's a rare opportunity to be able to do this. So um, I think, yeah, just get to see guys talk and have some laughs, and uh, obviously things get pretty serious here in the second half. And, you know, guys will go to their respective teams and compete, but uh, when you're together like this, you try to enjoy it as much as you can. Why, why, do, you think, why do you feel this event is important for the NHL? Uh, I think there's, you know, a lot of reasons. I think, you know, the fans love to see uh, everyone put together and, you know, best on best. And, and I think, uh, you know, as far as, you know, the, the enjoyment of the skills competition, you know, getting a guy, you know, guys' personalities a little bit more, uh, that all kind of comes out, I think, uh, like this so lots of positives from it and uh, I think you know you have to ask fans but I think as players uh, that's what we feel. What's the challenge for you and the Penguins down the stretch? I think like any team I mean everyone's going to be playing a lot of hockey here the next couple months so you know consistency is big you know, and, you know if you can string some together here and get hot uh, you're playing a lot of games so you know for the teams that can do that they'll uh, I get a big push. Do you think that Kyle will make the right decisions for you guys going forward? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think he's done that uh, to this point. He showed a lot of confidence in us. So um, I think we've done some some good things lately, especially you know, uh, you know after Christmas heading to the break. So uh, hopefully we can maintain that and stay consistent and put ourselves in a good position. You just talk contracts. You've known Nathan McKinnon for a long time now. You got to play again with him today. Yeah. But what can you say about the season he's having, a, a potential Hart Trophy season? Yeah, I mean, he's just taking it to another level. I mean, we've seen it time and time again, especially in the playoffs, where it seems like, uh, you know, he's not going to be able to turn it up a notch, and he does. And he's done that this year, uh, night in, night out. So uh, he's he's tough to stop. He's got uh, a lot of a lot of weapons, and uh, his speed, you know, obviously the biggest one. But... You know, so many ways that uh, he's continued to improve. So uh, he's had an incredible year. He's been blessed with good health recently, but it's kind of a guard out there. He was, he's hurt. How hard is it to get yeah, not coming? <laughs> yeah. How 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 hard is the mental side of it when you're coming back from injuries? When when, when you were younger, especially. And... Yeah, I don't think it's ever easy, regardless of how old you are. Um, but I think you know it's something that you just try to trust the process as far as what you have to do to get back. And you know, you get a lot of people that uh, have your best interests in mind that. Um, you know, we'll kind of help you through that. But as, as a hockey player, yeah, it's, it's never easy watching. And you want to be out there competing, and you know, especially in his first year. Uh, you know, I know he's a competitive guy and wants to be out there. So uh, he'll be back in no time, and I'm sure it'll be great. But uh, it's, it's never easy watching. The Penguins have expressed their interest in having a PWHL team in Pittsburgh. I'm just wondering about your thoughts on the potential with the top teams. I think it'd be great. Um, I think we've shown that, you know, as a city that, uh, you know, with the fan support that we have and the way that people love the game, that, uh, you know, that'd be something that'd be great to have in the city. And, um, you know, if the league was willing to expand, hopefully that's something that uh, would happen. It'd be great to have. You said when in the game, when you bumped it back to swing, yeah. the empty net, was that yeah. premeditated or do you think that could be uh, I don't know. I mean, we are just trying to hold on to the puck. Couldn't get that empty netter. You know, guys were too nice out there. They'll go for it on Tuesday or Monday, but they didn't want to go for it in a three-on-three -three game, in the All-Star game. So, um, 
guys have to get a little more greedy in that situation. But it would have been cool to see him put one in. Obviously, uh, you know, you want to try to put a show on for the fans. I'm sure they would have loved to see that. But you also want to get the win. So I think everyone's kind of in between on that one. Yeah, it would be great. Um, you know, it's, it's still playing, so it's, uh, it's a rare thing to see his jersey go up. But, you know, for the career that he's had and, you know, what he did for, for Pittsburgh and the years he had there, uh, yeah, it will be really special to be able to, to witness that and be part of it. You said you've taken a lot of face-offs in your life. How closely do you pay attention to, like, the linesmen and their tendencies and how important is that for your craft? Maybe a little bit. I mean, they're all pretty consistent as far as, you know, the process, how they drop it and things like that. But, you know, there's always little things that you try to pick up on if, if it's there. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's pretty consistent. It's just, it's up to you uh, finding ways to win them. Let's see all this piece of equipment. Shoulder pads? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say shoulder pads, yeah. How long, how long do they go back? Junior. Yeah. Why, do you, why haven't you replaced them? Kind of in between a couple pairs right now, actually. So yeah, they're still they're still there, but uh, I have another pair I've been using a little bit that are a little lighter. But it's it's a feel thing, you know. It's it's one of those things you had them for that long, and just the weight and everything feels right. But I've I've used a different pair. They're a little lighter. It's a little easier getting around with the lighter pair. So yeah, it's uh, it's always kind of an in between thing as far as how you feel, but you want to get the new stuff too. What did he make of Pastor Nag's uh, shootout winner there? It's not the guy you want to see going down to the win, <laughs> especially on his own goalie that he knows pretty well. <laughs> so could go either way, but uh, I mean, how many of those have you seen where he pulls it there? And, I mean, on the bench, you have no idea where it's going. I can't imagine what a goalie's thinking on that. So he makes it look pretty easy.